And more details are beginning to surface surrounding a videotaped incident depicting Atlantic City Councilman Eugene Robinson allegedly engaging in sexual acts with a young woman. Today, the councilman is speaking out, saying he did nothing wrong and is the victim of attempted extortion. This is how NBC40 originally wanted to bring you this story, but legal issues had to be attended to first. Veronica Dudo reports. Michelle, a local talk show host, is changing her tune about distributing a video she obtained from an anonymous source that allegedly shows Atlantic City Councilman Eugene Robinson engaging in illegal activity. While Robinson does not deny being on the tape, he does say, however, the circumstances surrounding it are being falsely spread in an attempt to smear him. The whole video struck me as horrifying and odd. Local talk show host Virginia McCabe held a news conference today where she told reporters that she met an anonymous source Monday afternoon in Atlantic City and was allegedly handed a disc containing the video. Given to NBC40 by McCabe, the video has clearly been edited and has no audio. It does, however, show Councilman Eugene Robinson in what appears to be a motel room meeting with an unidentified female. An anonymous note was also delivered with the video. And the letter states, of course, that there was a 16-year-old prostitute. If there's anyone in this case who did something wrong, it is the people who took the videotape. They violated criminal statutes in the state. The people who are disseminating the tape also violated criminal statutes in the state. They're the ones who should be uh, ferreted out. Their identity should be made known, and they should be prosecuted. Today, NBC40 spoke to both Councilman Robinson and his attorney. A gentleman approached me and tried to extort me in terms of he had this alleged videotape of me, and if I resigned immediately from council and the vice presidency, then he would not take it to ch Channel 40 of my church. Otherwise, he was going to do that in half an hour. Councilman Robinson has taken positions that are adverse to a certain faction of Atlantic City government that has come under fire recently, and they have not taken kindly to his being an independent thinker. Robinson used to be publicly aligned with the Callaway organization, but says recently things have changed. For the last five or six weeks have been calling me on various radio shows, a phony or fraud, and about three weeks ago they, they vowed to get Gene Robinson if it was the last thing they did. Craig Calloway is, is, sent, is, is scheduled to be sentenced in federal court next month. I can't imagine that somebody who is uh, awaiting sentencing uh, from the uh, federal uh, courts uh, would engage themselves in what to me is, uh, is potentially, if not clearly, illegal activity. Jim Carroll also says he has supported both men in the past. Um, but I had uh, uh, given the line, as they say, uh, to uh, Councilman uh, Callaway and his ticket, which included Councilman Robinson. For News Channel 40 NBC, I'm Veronica Dudo. Councilman Eugene Robinson and his lawyer are also conducting an independent investigation hoping to uncover who is responsible for recording and distributing the tape. Multiculturalism is hate. Diversity is hate. Tolerance is hate. And who's the object of that hate? We are. The boundaries have been broken. 